the, the super sprint doesn't go at the moment. Right. So it has to be like that. Yeah, and actually, you know what? I I I thought and, and, it was bigger. And, and it's actually not as big as I thought. That's a three player. That's yeah. right. Because I've I've got I've actually got the two player. I've got the championship. Oh, okay. I've got the championship sprint. Yeah. So I don't have the super sprint. But I, what I was after was that when when I was looking for it, and I, picked, I managed to pick up the champion. Yeah, but there's, um, there's quite a few people who've won it. Yeah. It just I, stopped working recently. Right. And. I think it's a CPU, and I'm having trouble getting one. And, and that's that's yeah. the thing. I mean, I'm having huge fun with the with the two player, you know. And and you have to have two players playing it. That's when yeah. the fun three, is, right? But three, three is just it, absolutely. And, and you fit on the cabinet quite easily, by the way. It doesn't look like it in its present location. Yeah, yeah. Things in the way, but yeah, it, it's not a big problem. Man, that's awesome. Um, so this guy, this looks really clean. So really clean. It's not bad. Um, the back glass is Australian. It's all the colours gone out of it. Oh right. Okay, so Grand, the Grand Prix should be red. Ah, uh, okay. Few it's such a shame too because it's beautiful condition. Machines dry out. Yeah, right. Okay, it's, it's one of the funny things with Australian machines. Wow. Okay, and what else we got, Dan? Of the lot. Wow. I'll actually turn it on because you I don't know what you call it. Uh, countdown clock from the 60s. <laughs> wow. So you let me get it to go on. You know the gun game the gun game that I remember back in the day of oh geez, wow that is incredible. Okay, so what we'd need to do <laughs> is to run it so you can see do you see in the forest yeah. these little cutaways? Yeah, yeah. They open up and there'll be tanks and things I don't mind. Oh wow. So, let's, oh, wow, I mean, let's drop a coin in it. Yeah, yeah, let's absolutely. This is incredible. I mean, considering you used to play with the little plastic army guys, yeah. you know, when you and I were young, um, to have them actually sitting in a little game like this. Look at that. Okay, that so. is so cool. That is so cool. Has this got a tape player in it? No. No. It's all analog. Okay. Okay, so I won't fire because it's. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's so cool. So the cutaways. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, pretty unique. Did, did you did you do a lot to restore this yourself? I mean, yeah. you, you got this non-working of yeah. You never find these things and, going, right? And of course, it's got uh, cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, how cool is that? Oh, that's so good. Wow. That's a find. How long have you had this one for? Uh, a couple of years now. Okay. So you still, like, these are still sort of coming up occasionally. Yeah. In terms of, you know. Yeah, every now and then. Yeah. Well, that's a great find, man. I've never seen, the one I remember is um, Haunted House. In the haunted house with the yep. with, and, and it had a lot of black light stuff and but that had a that had a uh, four track tape recorder in it and it used to flip between the different tracks for the sounds. Oh okay. Yeah. This this is all analog. All analog. Uh, that is points and things. It's that's nice so crazy. That is an awesome machine and you've got a couple of pennies here. Both currently working or yeah yeah. yeah? You know what, I, I, I can't believe still, and I've said this before on, on some of my other videos, just in terms of the number of pinball machines that are out there, just constantly finding new ones that I have just haven't heard of before. Yeah, that's quite, what a classic. That's quite a nice one. Yeah, what a beautiful machine that is. It's got all the colours to it. Jeez, and look at that back glass, mate, seriously. Yeah. That, look, that almost looks brand new. So, yeah, so with Australian ones, the graphic art on the cabinets fades. Right. So that one's still purple. Right. And generally when you see one, it'll be white. Right, okay. The sun gets them. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, that's that, really that's good just position. extremely rare. Yeah, this one, I've never, never even heard of it. You know, it's like Wiggler, Dogies. And they're both super flippers. The uh, flippers come in and out. Oh, yeah, they get, yeah. Wow, man, that's seriously impressive. 
seriously impressive. <laughs> wow, okay. These are typical German machines. See the back glass is a beautiful one. Yeah, they're amazing. How did you, oh seriously, they, they, they all look like just spanking brand new, these back glasses. I've never and seen so many great back glasses. That's the difference between a you know, German machine, which was in a, not a hot country. Ah, uh, of course, light. yeah. So the paint just survives, right? You get proper colours. And this particular one's actually in German. Okay, so... Oh, wow. But the, the rest are all English. Again, seriously, I haven't... A Stardust, maybe, but the, the others I just have not seen. I mean, my focus normally isn't... Because these are what we're talking about... Um, yeah. Yeah, we're what, it's six, uh, so 65 to 68 or something, or 70s, yeah, 70s. So it's about 70s? 60s, 70s. Yeah. That's amazing, man. You've got a really, really cool collection. Here's the Space Invaders, guys. This is what we're picking up today. <laughs> and, uh, and in fact, can we throw it back on again, just quickly? Yeah. Is that cool? Chuck it on here, and you can see this glorious black light, white light, right? That's what they call it, isn't it, Dan? Yep. <laughs> which is which is bizarre. Is it just a tube? But it's just a tube, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tube. It's a mirror. Yeah. You know, it's it's quite a monitor in the back. Absolutely. But that's great. All complete. Fantastic. Growing going to a good home, Dan. Don't need to worry. Uh, that's all that matters. So, yep, absolutely. That's gonna be well looked after, thank you. And um and here, submarine. Namco submarine. Now there's a number of submarine type games. Back in the day, what were the other ones called? Um, I, actually, I remember this one, but I don't. I don't remember the others. Oh wow! And again, your yeah. job. Yeah, and you know what? This is now, the mirror is actually flicking up and down, giving. Ah motion. right. This is what I love about the, like you can't, rec like with MAME and stuff, you can't, you'll never recreate this sort of game, you can't do it. No. Man. Is, isn't that cool? That is. It, it, it's a light that shoots, you fire through here. Right. And the light goes across to the, so the ships and they're all moving. Yeah, mate, seriously, you just, this is the thing, you see these sort of machines up for sale and stuff, you don't actually really realise how awesome they are. Yeah, when they're working. People don't understand how much work I put in. Uh, different uh, oh, mate, I, I can appreciate how much work you put into these. I'm sitting here in the park uh, working properly. It's like, well, you know. yeah, yeah, it takes a long time. Jesus, it takes me ages just to get just some the basic electronic ones going, let alone stuff like this. It's just amazing. Uh, mirror to back glass, and when you, you hit it, yeah. there'll be lines in that behind it. It'll light up, and a line will come out from behind the, the mirror back glass. 47 Damn. and a 48. This is your normal pinball style, and that's your gambling, more your gambling style. Goes up to 49 credits, which you could win 49 whatever. Come along, he flips a button underneath and it clears the credit. This is a perfect machine, believe it or not. It's it like wasn't. Land on something, that, yeah. It wasn't imported. In fact, I, I think I. Both of these weren't imported. Yeah, I did see this actually. I think on the uh, on one of the fun spot videos, I think they've got one in fun yeah. spot in the US. Um, very, I very think. Rare. But yeah, this is extremely. Is it working? Yeah, let's flick it on. Can we flick it on? That, <laughs> seriously, right? It's just I can't believe it. It's just kind of interesting. Did clean this? If it'll play the game. I've seen this, this thing. I remember this. Look, with the little car thing up the thing, and you've got to, oh geez, what, what do you have to do? You have to, you flick the ball up, don't you, into the thing, and then it yeah. will go the number of spaces around the track. I do remember, I do remember this somewhere. Oh, here we go. Space <laughs> mission, it's not a 69 career. We have a beautiful bird. All systems are go. You're looking good. Why? Why? Aboard it, man. Undocking completed. 
You're aiming for this one, it's lit up, and you've got to hit the pole. Ah, right. You've got to have to be in front to be yeah, able to yeah. control it. It's... So pretty clever for 69, you know. <laughs> That's... That is like so good, Dan. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it still works, it doesn't make sense. Oh, that's great. And does, and does this one work too? Does yeah. the auto race work as well? There we go. And then, yeah, then it flicks the number, doesn't it? So you have two people just flicking to get the numbers. That is such a cool game. That is really cool. And again, black light. Do you get people, do you get people really liking that? Like, you know, any age, I guess, right? That's it. So the basic gist is, it's made for adults. Look how high you got to be. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> you have to stand on a box if you're, if you're small. <laughs> well, Dan, thanks so much for showing us this, eh? Because you just don't... You're just not going to see these anywhere working, eh, yeah. in Perth. You, you must have the only ones in Perth that are working, surely. Oh, you have there's, to. there's so few of these in the world. Yeah. That thing there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. All right, well, look, I won't take up more of your time, man. I really appreciate you showing me these, and I'm sure people are going to really like to seeing what's out here. Incredible. All right, guys, we're going to load up the spaces now and um, get moving. So we'll see you shortly. <laughs> we got it on the, uh, on the trailer. That was uh, a little bit of a mission. And um, what can I say? I mean... What an amazing guy, what a really nice guy. You know, again, to let us film and stuff, you know, I know, I know, I know you know, these, people don't have to do that, right? It's their personal collection. Um, so for him to take the time out and show me his awesome games, wow. So yeah, Dan, if you're watching, thanks man. Really appreciate it, eh? Like, just being able to hopefully, you know, share this with, other people that might want to see those games because they're so incredibly rare um so please subscribe if you haven't subscribed thank you for everyone that has subscribed um i really do hope you enjoy these videos i still am enjoying uh doing them and uh and who knows what's going to happen <laughs> because there's already things that have happened so far this year that really weren't in that plan in that end of year plan uh, so it's going to get pretty exciting here soon especially when i have to do this <coughs> big change in this room again to accommodate the spaces which is going to be sitting outside this door until I do so so I'm gonna have I'm for it's forcing my hand guys I'm gonna have to do some major changes oh god uh, anyway let's sign, sign it off here thanks again look after yourselves play your arcades fix your games up and remember until next time ciao for now